Midjourney has just released version 6.1 with a ton of improvements to their images. Things like better coherence, better quality, better textures, as well as some new upscalers and improved speed to generally make things more beautiful, to quote the team themselves. There is a full update on the Midjourney website, but I'm going to run through exactly what these changes are. As I've said before, Midjourney have improved the image quality of their model with version 6.1. This includes more coherent images, so things like arms, legs, hands, bodies, plants and animals, or much better image quality, so reduced pixel artifacts, enhanced textures and skin, and more precise, detailed and correct small image features, things like eyes, small faces, faraway hands. So what I've done is I've produced a few images in version 6 and version 6.1 so we can compare the difference. Now using the same seed on all these images, I created this image using version 6 where the feet are kind of backwards and the body's not quite accurate. I switched to 6.1 and you can see the feet and even the hands are looking a bit better. I even put them two side by side and you can see exactly what I mean with the feet and with also the hands. So there is some improvement there. So it's already improved those human features, but you look at this photo of the dog in the garden, you can't see much, but you zoom in on the details here in the garden, and you can see how the left looks a bit sort of choppy and kind of noisy, whereas the right, a little bit more harmonious. So you can see how it's improved the details of that image. However, I really put it to the test with some Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and it still can't seem to make sense of the limbs in this photo, but still looking pretty good. Now 6.1 also has two more image upscalers. These improve texture quality and image quality in general. So again, I have some version six images and some version 6.1 images. And if I click on these for comparison, you can see they still have subtle and creative upscale. So it still looks the same on the surface, but if we compare the two side by side, so we have here our subtle upscales and when we zoom in there's a lot more noise on the version 6 subtle compared to the 6.1 move around a bit and you can see they've managed to reduce that noise and make the image a lot cleaner producing a far superior result with the subtle upscale moving on to the creative upscales they're actually a little bit harder to spot but still slightly better noise reduction in the version 6.1 when we come up to the face I think the 6.1 has a lot smoother rendering of the face and a general better result, but not as big of a difference as subtle. They've also improved text accuracy. So when you prompt using quotation marks to create text, you get a more accurate word or letter based on what you've typed in. So I've got a few more comparisons here to show you as well. So I prompted for AI Art Studio. As you can see, the word is missing in version 6, but there in 6.1, and whereas in this one, it's repeated the word art on the left, but 6.1 has fixed that on the right. And same again, mid journey is awesome. We've got some errors on the left, fixed on the right. Same again for this particular line of the man holding the sign. But with this last one, the 6 version was actually better than the 6.1 version. So it's not perfect. Now version 6.1 now also has an improved personalization model. To quote the website, it has improved nuance, surprise, and accuracy, but also personalization code versioning. So using any personalization code from old jobs to use the personalization model and data from that job. So this means that your personalization is actually gonna be a little bit better than before. And again, I have some comparisons to show you on screen now. Now I noticed it kept the same personalization code. So we don't get new codes by default and I didn't enter these specifically, but there are some minor differences between the images, despite the fact they're all pretty much the same. For example, with this one here, this Hulk is wearing sunglasses and has sunglasses hanging around his neck on the left, but in version 6.1, they got rid of that and sort of smoothed that out. Whereas the others, there's some very minor differences in framing, proportion, and just some slight improvements in things in the image, like pants in this particular image here, and just a, a little bit of an upgrade, but nothing that I can really notice in a huge way. But moving on to this nature scene, I like the way when you look back into the distance, what's off in the distance, the mountains are a lot more interesting than they are on the left. And on the right of this other nature scene here, just a little bit more interesting framing. The scene and shape of the frame is a little less perfect and a little more organic in the way it's laid out. And if you look at this one, the dog on the left has a very stiff, almost unnatural posture. Whereas on the right, he's slumped and looks a little bit more like an actual person. So the way it's even adjusted the posture of that image is pretty interesting. But finally, a much bigger fix. Instead of having the sword going through the dog's head in the left image of version six, it's actually kind of attached to his belt and sticking out ready to be drawn on the right. So some big improvements there on images, but the personalization side of it is only sort of minor as far as I can tell. Now also, standard image jobs are roughly 25% faster than they were before, but there's also a change to the quality setting. 
Instead of relying on a quality level of one, a new quality two mode, which takes about 25% longer to sometimes add more texture, is coming at the cost of reduced image coherence. So again, let's generate a few images and compare. Starting off with an Unreal Engine render of a man's face, you can see on the right that the details are a little more natural, a little more highlighted. But with this particular view, it can be a bit hard to see, so I've zoomed in a little bit, and now you can see how it's highlighted, how some of the hairs just coming in underneath the nose are a little sharper, and the eye on the right actually looks a little bit better. So the details aren't just how sharp the details are, but also how they're rendered. The same on this woman's face. You can see the eyes a little bit more closed on the right. There's a few minor differences, but instead of the detail being sharper, it looks more organic on the right. Whereas on the left, it kind of looks a little bit prickly and a little bit unnatural. And this hairy dog at the beach, once again, the sharpness isn't really what it is. It's more that the hair looks more organic and a little bit messy as opposed to sort of like overly neat in some areas. It's pretty messy in both of them, but there's actually not a huge difference between these two. I do feel the one on the right is a little bit more organic with its detail but nothing too noticeable. But back to our cyberpunk puppy samurai. Now the detail on this is awesome. If you look at the suit itself, the extra little bits and pieces attached to the suit, and there's a ton of detail in those little areas, it looks absolutely fantastic. And even if you look at the handles of the swords, it's actually got that stitching down to a finer detail. And even the dog's head, the glasses, there's all this detail added into the image that just simply wasn't there before. Big difference on this one in particular. So according to Midjourney, things should look generally more beautiful across the board, but there's a few more notes that they've mentioned here. Version 6.1 currently does not have a new in-painting slash out-painting model. So if you use zoom, reframe, repaint, or vary region, it will fall back to the version 6 model. And if you want to change back to version 6, just go to slash settings and click V6 or type dash dash V6 after your job or click the settings panel on the website. Now they have also announced some future plans for version 6.2 to come out in the next month or so, but they just need to gather a little bit more data from users when they're using 6.1 so they can do a better job with their release of version 6.2. But as of today, version 6.1 is the default model on Midjourney. So now that version 6.1 is out, I highly recommend you get onto Midjourney, have a bit of a play and maybe even try creating some images with version 6 and 6.1 to see if you can spot the difference yourself and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Otherwise, that's the video for today, guys. I hope you have fun with that. And don't forget to check out my channel for more mid-journey videos. Otherwise, have a great day. Hope to see you again next time.